Okay, welcome back to Midnight Tutor. We have a new problem today sent in to us by somebody. Thank you for sending this problem. Please send more problems because that allows us to give you something that's more relevant to what you actually need right now and at midnight. The problem revolves volume of revolution involving the washer method. And let me just read the problem statement. Find the volume of the object defined by rotating the area between y equals x squared and y equals x cubed about the y-axis from 0 to h, y equals 0 to y equals h. So we have a, a, a variation on the basic problem. Calculus is mostly about somebody trying to take something simple and then disguising it and seeing whether you can handle the disguise. So the disguise here is we're revolving about the y-axis. Does it make a difference? Not really. Let's draw a little picture to get started. So we have y equals x squared, which looks something like that. And then y equals x cubed is, is just a little bit more steep. From 0 to h. So we're talking about this area here. and we're going to revolve around the y-axis and then what we get is some kind of a, a bowl of sorts. It's hollow in here and it has a varying thickness. So the question is how do we do that? If you've only memorized the formula for revolving around the x-axis what are you going to do? Well we just have to imagine in our head that the y-axis is the x-axis and then do everything the same with one step first. We want to rewrite everything in terms of y. So think about this. In this case, our washer, the thing we're creating by taking this line essentially and rotating it, is going to be a thickness along the y-axis. So the washer is going to have a thickness of dy. So let me draw my washer here. This is half the washer. Right, the other half of the washer would be here as I rotate it. And this is going to have a thickness of dy. So now we have to write everything. Obviously, we're going to then integrate from little washers here all the way up from 0 to h. But we need to write the equations for the radius, the outer radius and the inner radius in terms of y. Well, what is that? Well, if y equals x squared, then x is going to be y to the one-half power, right? The square root of y. And if y equals x cubed, that's going to mean that x is going to be y to the one-third power, the cube root of y. The cube. So, given an x, initially we were given the situation where the x is the independent variable. Given an x, we go up to the curve and then gives, gives us a y. In this case, we're going starting with a y value, going over to the curve, and then down to an x value. But it's the same thing. So now x squared obviously is, is going to be further away than x cubed, and so x squared is going to define our outer radius, and x cubed will define the inner radius. And we know that the volume then is going to be the pi r squared of the difference in the radii. So we can say that dv V being volume. So the volume of this little washer is going to be pi times r outer squared minus r inner squared dy because we have that thickness. So it's going to be equal to pi and r outer squared is going to be x squared rewritten in terms of y. So y to the one half squared minus the inner y to the one-third squared dy. Okay, we're getting pretty darn close to the solution already. Now we just need to integrate, so we're going to say v then is the integral from 0 to h of this whole thing, pi. So y to the one-half squared, we multiply exponents when we have one power raised to another. So 2 times 1 half is 1, so this is going to be y 
and then one third squared is going to be minus y to the two thirds dy. Well, now it's a simple polynomial integration. And we know the integral of y is y squared over 2. And the integral of y to the 2 thirds, well, now we have to add 1. So 2 thirds plus 1 is 2 thirds plus 3 thirds, which is 5 thirds. And then we have to divide by n plus 1. So this is going to be over 5 thirds. Now we have our good friend the fraction over a fraction. We'll deal with that in one second. Evaluated from 0 to h. And to see if I can still fit it on here. So we have pi h squared over 2 minus h to the 5 thirds. And now we have 1 over 5 thirds. So we could do a over b over c over d is the same as a over b times d over c. We have 1 over 1 over 5 over 3, so that's 1 over 1 times 3 over 5. So this is going to be 3 fifths. And the, uh, the zero terms make no contribution, so that is our final answer.